All right. Um, I have already done a video on shampoos and conditioners, different types, what I use at home and in the salon. So in that video, I mentioned that I was going to do a styling products video and that's what I'm doing today. If you are a client of mine or if you have asked me for product recommendations, this video is probably going to bore you to death because you've probably already heard um, all of these products. I use this on every client that sits in my chair, almost. Maybe not a few, but almost everybody, especially if I'm going to blow dry. So this is the Pravana Nevo um, Intense Therapy Leave-In Treatment. It's a leave-in conditioner. Um, this is really good because it's really, really lightweight. I'm going to spray some on my hands so you can kind of see. It's very a very fine mist, and you can use it on your skin too, which is great. So anybody who feels really can feel really heavy on their scalp if they use products or right at their root this will probably not make you feel heavy it um, detangles it protects from heat balances the ph in your hair balances the porosity in your hair it is such a great product i cannot be without it um typically the first product that i use um when i do my hair at home i typically don't blow dry but if i do i do like to use the pravana they also have the um this is the the same product it's just tinted purple i don't think this makes any difference um the the tinted color i just bought it because it came in a set so i wanted to try it's supposed to tone but i don't know about all that at home, if I'm not going to blow, blow dry my hair or style, if I just need something to put in it, I typically will use an oil. So these are my two favorites at the moment. This is the Verb Ghost Oil. Um, I love this one. This is really lightweight and it has a really, really good pump. So not a lot of product comes out. Not that you're going to be able to tell on camera. Really is good. This doesn't pump a lot of product out, which is good if you um, are used to something that pours out or if you do get oily, but you just need a little something on your ends. This is great. It smells really good too. I really like the Matrix Oil Wonders. This is the Indian Amla Oil. It, it also has a pump um, and it doesn't pump out a whole lot either. I would say... Honestly, this one's probably a little thinner of a consistency than this one, but I think this one feels lighter weight on the hair. I don't know if that's in my head, but you can, I mean, this one just kind of is really thin, but I love both of these. These are, in almost every occasion, this is the first product I use. The only time I won't do that first is if I'm going to use a volume product first. I have been using this one forever. This is the Matrix Total Results uh, Wonder Boost. It's just a root lifter. Um, it also has a really good spray, so it's really a really fine mist on the root. I like using this for anybody that doesn't like the feel of product their hair. You will not feel this. It's very lightweight, but it gives it some good body. Um, this is a new one I'm trying out. This is also Matrix. This is the Mineral Airy Builder Dry Texture Foam. It's a mousse, but it's really, really lightweight, which I like. A little bit more of a product feel um, compared to the, the total results. If you have extremely dry, damaged, coarse, frizzy hair, anything that's like you feel like no product has been able to touch it, it's on... Um, layers of bleach or color and your hair just has not recovered. The Lonza trauma treatment is a leave-in treatment. Tens, um, say to apply the hair and leave in um, and then you know blow dry style air dry as usual. If you're not sure that you're going to be using it as a leave-in conditioner every single time then it's a wonderful deep conditioner. You can add it to your current conditioner. Um, you can add it just by itself and put it in your hair dry, in the shower, leave it in for a few minutes, but this is an amazing product. That's pretty much it for um, before blow dry. At home, I don't usually blow dry my hair. Um, rarely do I blow dry. I typically let it air dry. So if I'm gonna let it air dry, I usually just use um, like one of the oils that I mentioned, the Matrix, the Verb. I have a couple other ones too, but those are my two go-tos. I also forgot, I have this Marrakesh. I think I got this in a 
FabFitFun box or something. It's the Argan and Hemp Oil Therapy Leave-In Treatment and Detangler. It's good. It has a really strong scent, so I'm not sure that I would use this in the salon because I try to use things that are pretty mild and um, like universal that everybody would like. But it is good. It can get heavy. It's I think it's probably an oil base if I had to guess, but this is a good one um, and I would use this on towel dried hair personally. I love wet brushes. This one has been through the ringer. This is a newer one. So you can get these anywhere. I think you can get them at Target. These you could get on Amazon, but I, you can get these lots of places. They are amazing for detangling. If anybody is a mom and needs something to help detangle their kid's hair, get you a wet brush. They're great. Really help distribute product if you want to put product in your hair while it's towel dried. And it also helps detangle and you can scrub your scalp with it if you feel like you need a little exfoliation on your scalp. Okay. So now on to after blow dry. So like I said, I don't typically blow dry my hair at home, so I usually will stick to one product. I'll usually just use something moisturizing. Um, I can add volume after I blow dry and style my hair with some of the other products that I'm going to mention. And when you air dry your hair, I think you want to try to avoid as many products as possible because it can get really heavy. When you're going in with a heat source, um, you are altering the bonds in your hair. So that's why it's important to use a leave-in conditioner, an oil, and then if you really want to manipulate the hair, then that's where the, the volume products come in and again, the moisturizing products. In most cases, you want to keep the cuticle as smooth as possible because that's what gives you that smooth, kind of blown out, straight from the salon look. It also helps the longevity of your, your shampoo and your blow dry. So if you're going to air dry, I would try to stick to a couple of products so you don't, you don't need as many. If you've sat in my chair before, I have most likely used the Kenra Volume Dry Shampoo on you. This is my all-time favorite dry shampoo. I think it's the best one you can buy. It smells good. It's lightweight. It doesn't get that white cast. So this is great to use if you're going to try to tease your hair, um, if you really want a lot of body. It, when your hair is clean, it'll prevent some of that oil from, from forming at your roots. They're great dry shampoos, but that one's my favorite. I'm not even going to talk about any others because I wouldn't waste your money. Get this one. There is texture spray. So this is a new one that I'm trying. It is Amika Undone. Um, volume and matte texture spray. The Mika products smell really, really good. I haven't started using this actual product in the salon. It's like I said, it smells great. It's pretty lightweight, um, but I love a texture spray after I curl my hair. And probably my favorite is the Kenra Platinum Dry Texture Spray. It's a number six, so it has kind of a light medium hold. This one is like my favorite smell. You probably noticed that I talk about the way it smells a lot. But this one has just enough kind of dry powder in it to make your hair a little messy and tousled, but not enough to make it feel like you've um haven't brushed your hair in a week another great one is matrix the matrix texture builder spray i'll try to include a picture it's a burgundy bottle if if the store is out of this one i'll get the matrix and switch off and i sell both of them typically in the salon um and I have some clients that love the Matrix, I have some that love the Kenra, and then some that love other things too. If I had to pick two that I couldn't live without, it would be Kenra and Matrix Texture Builder. This is a newer product I've been trying, and this is the Kenra Dry Volume Burst. If you don't like dry shampoo or don't need dry shampoo, this could be, um, you could use this instead. It is called a Soft Hold Volumizing Spray, and I've been using it on my roots before I tease to give the comb kind of something to grab onto. You'll kind of try this one out. I don't know that it's going to be something that like I can't live without in the salon, but I do like it at home and I do like it for teasing my hair. I don't really need dry shampoo, so I think this is kind of a good alternative. On to hairspray. I'm only going to talk about one because this is my favorite. When I'm out of my of this hairspray, I'm just lost. Lost without it. <laughs> 
This is the Matrix Oil Wonders Volume Rose Finishing Spray, and it does smell like rose. It is... Um, it says fast drying, ultra fine, and it leaves the hair protected from static. And it also has a little bit of a humidity resistance. A lot of, a lot of hairsprays say a lot of things, make a lot of claims, but I really do like this one. I think it's good. This, I would say, is a, almost like a buildable hold. So it's still brushable. You can still brush your hair, but it's, it's, it's very lightweight. I layer it day after day. I don't usually wash my hair about every four days or so um, and I can use a little of this every day to kind of reshape my hair and style it for the day so it holds um, without feeling like I have caked on a, a ton of product. I talked about 13 different products. Does any normal sane person need 13 hair products? Maybe. No. Not, most people do not need all of these. Um, I just talked about them because these are products that are tried and true for me. I always suggest purchasing your hair products from a reputable source. If you have a hairstylist, they can most likely get these for you and you can purchase it for, through your stylist. Um, or I trust shopping at Ulta or beauty brands somewhere with a salon. Stay away from hair products on Amazon because... I just do. I hope this helped. So, that is that. I will try to list all these products down below. So, if you have any questions, please let me know. Being in the salon, I try a lot of them. There are a lot of duds, and there are a lot of good ones, like I mentioned today. So, I hope this video was helpful. I hope you enjoyed, and thanks for watching. Did you have something to say? Hey, 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 it's okay. It doesn't.